Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. Good morning, everyone. I have to, (laughs) on my iPad where I, I, I get ready to look at the date and the time, all of a sudden the notification just popped up saying, hey, Theology Central is going live on the air. So, all right. So good morning, everyone. Welcome. This is obviously the Theology Central podcast. I'm going to be talking about the Theology Central pod page in a minute, but good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Theology Central podcast, as you just heard in our professional intro. Clearly, the one currently talking to you, I'm not very professional, but no, good morning. Welcome. It is Saturday, May the 1st, 2021. It is currently 1142 a.m. Central Time, and I wanted to take just a few minutes to go live to tell you about a new feature on the TheologyCentral.net pod page. Now, if you have not visited our pod page, you need to. And if you don't visit our pod page every single day, well, I'm greatly, I'm greatly uh, hurt. I really am. I'm offended. I'm hurt. I'm disappointed. I'm discouraged. Visit our pod page frequently. Please do so. TheologyCentral.net. TheologyCentral.net. Now, once you are there, you, there's a couple of things I would ask you to do. You can go to the review section and leave us a five-star rating and write a review. You can also leave us a voice memo. If you'll, when you go to theologycentral.net, if you'll just scroll up, like I've got it right, right here, a little thing at the bottom, it's a little orange circle with a white microphone. You tap on that and you can start recording and leave it says hi leave a voicemail click below to send a voicemail to theology central please leave us a voicemail say hello tell us where you're listening from how you discovered do you like the podcast whatever please do that so go to theologycentral.net you can go to the review section you can leave a five star rating and type out a review or, or and as well you can leave us a voicemail uh, we're still waiting for the first person to do that. No one has left us a voicemail as of yet. No one has. Um, I'm getting a notification now from Spotify about a podcast is now available that we did like, I don't know, two days ago. So, hey, Spotify, come on, speed up a little bit. What are you doing? All right. So, so there you have it. Go to theologycentral.net. But here is a new feature. All right. Now here, I want to bring this all together and hopefully this will be beneficial. If you remember (laughs) <laughs> there was a long process for us to make it onto the Edify Christian Podcast app. It took us forever to get onto the Edify Christian Podcast app. It was some weird miscommunication. It went back and forth. It got very frustrated. I was I was basically, I mean, I was I was getting so irritated because of the way the process went. But finally, it all got clarified, and we have been, and we still are available on the Edify Christian Podcast app. That is Theology Central, this podcast that you're currently listening to. VBC, that's the podcast that has all of the sermons preached here from Victory Baptist Church. And the VBC Bible Institute, all of them are available on the theology uh, on the Edify Christian Podcast app. All right, so if you download the Edify Christian Podcast app, please look for Theology Central, please look for VBC, and please look for the VBC Bible Institute and subscribe. All right, now the Edify Christian Podcast app. I think they claim to have what two point five million Christian podcast. Maybe that's two point five million Christian podcast episodes. I would have to look at the statistics to be sure, but there are. So many Christian podcasts available on that app. Again, it's the Edify, the Edify Christian Podcast app, all right? That is, and in fact, I'll have it here, E-D-I-F-I, E-D-I-F-I. That podcast app is available on Apple devices and on Google devices. So you should at least check it out. You should. And one of the things I love to do is I just, I'll go there and just start, I'll just just start looking for everything, searching random things, just seeing what podcasts are out there, what I'm going to find, what episodes I'm going to find, and I just start listening, all right? So the Edify Christian Podcast app, it took us forever to get there. We're there, and I'm still, you know, trying to get people to use it as much as possible, all right? Because I just, I did, I think it's an interesting idea to, to bring all of the Christian podcasts available on one app, uh, because I, I think that uh, there's, that a lot of Christians use podcasts, uh, for their daily spiritual 
uh, nourishment and spiritual food and uh, having them all together under one app, I think is, is a cool idea. All right. So by all means, download the Edify Christian Podcast app and look for us, Theology Central, VBC, and VBC Bible Institute. But I don't remember what day it was, but recently they did an update on the Edify Christian Podcast app that is really, really, really interesting, right? So let me open. I'm just going to open. Um, I'm, I'm looking at all the things I subscribe to. And so I've got how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve 10, 11, 12, 12 episodes that's uh, available today from the different podcasts that I subscribe to on Edify, 12, right? Here's one that was posted 12 hours ago. I opened it, I opened it up. A hub of political and economic power. People known for idol worship. Welcome to Thessalonica, the capital city of the Roman province of Macedonia. Now stop right there. Okay, so that's called Today in the Word, and they're getting ready to begin a month-long series on uh, Thessalonians, all right? So, and we may be doing some things with that. So, all right, but so it's there. Now, you're just like, who cares? I don't care. I understand you don't care, but here's an interesting new feature. Now, when I, when I hit play on that, there are a number of options. There is a download option. There's a like option. There's a sleep timer option. There is a cast option where I can cast this to, you know, a speaker or, or some other device. There's an airplay um, feature so that I can, you know, place, you know, listen to this in the car. And then there's a share option. And then the one that caught my attention. There's an embed option. And if you click on the embed, it immediately, uh, it says embed code copied to the clipboard. Now that means that embed code is copied. Well, guess what? That makes it super easy for me on the theologycentral.net pod page. So this is what I'm going to start doing. Whenever I come across an episode that I think is interesting, uh, something I like, I, or even if I don't like it, but I just listen to it, I'm going to do my very best to go to theologycentral.net to the blog section and embed that podcast episode that I just listened to. I may like it. I may dislike it. I, it, it, may, it may, I'm, there, I'm not going to be putting them there because I necessarily agree with them, but I'm just putting them there so that you can listen to what I was listening to. And then guess what? You can leave a voicemail to say, oh, that episode you just, I didn't really like that podcast episode. I think it was messed up for this reason, or hey, I really like that. Thank you. I never heard of that podcast. Thank you for sharing that. That was very interesting. That was very good. And then that creates another area where we can have conversations and another area where you can be exposed to Bible teaching and exposed to different things from different perspectives, all right? So theologycentral.net, theologycentral.net, go to the blog section. In fact, this is what you're going to see. In fact, let me leave the Edify app. I'm I'm at the theologycentral.net pod page. I'm going to click on the blog section. Clicking on the blog section. Yeah, the internet's moving slow this morning. All right, here we go. They may be doing some uh, maintenance to theologycentral.net. Uh, all right, here we go. I'm waiting. There we go. Finally, it opens. All right, here's what you're going to find. As soon as you get to the blog section, the first thing you're going to see is this title. What does the Good Samaritan teach us about racism? What does the Good Samaritan teach us about racism? Now, if you scroll down, it's going to say view more. You click on view more. It's going to open up that blog entry. All right. And then when you look at it, you're going to see, you're going to see the picture of the Good Samaritan helping the guy laying on the side of the road, all beat up and and hurt. And then right underneath that, you're going to see kind of an image. You're not going to see exactly what's going on, but if you'll kind of put your hand on that image and just scroll up a little bit, oh, guess what you're going to see? It's a podcast episode from Edify. And guess what? You can hit play right there, right there. Here we go. And you're going to hear this. For the last couple of weeks on Discover the Word, the group's been focusing on one word. One word that group member Bill Crowder says for him is one of the best words we could use to describe Jesus. That word is compassion. 
A word we found is used often in the Gospels describing both Jesus and the Father. And there's an interesting pattern to that compassion. Now, there you go. They're going to talk about compassion. They're going to talk about the Good Samaritan and what it teaches us about racism. Now, whether you agree, whether you disagree, whether you think the passage has anything to do with racism or doesn't have anything to do with racism, you can listen to it right there. So I can embed. I listened to that episode. I thought it was interesting. So I embedded it right there under the TheologyCentral.net blog section. In fact, if you look here, there, there, uh, there's another one on, on the blog section called The Menace of manipulation in ministry. The menace of manipulation in ministry. The menace of manipulation in ministry. And if I click on it, you hear this. Is affirmation the primary mark of being a Christian? Is that what it means to be kind and loving and gentle and Is affirmation really what we're getting at? Now, you can listen to that. That's called the menace of manipulation in ministry. The menace of manipulation in ministry from a podcast called The Reformed Rant. I mean, there's just so many episodes. So whenever I listen to something, I can just share it right there. So check theologycentral.net every day. Even when I'm not here behind this microphone, I'm probably at home listening to something. And when I'm listening to it, I, I'm literally, in many cases, maybe even before I listen to it, I'm just going to throw it on there to spark discussion where you can go, oh, I really like, oh, man, what in the world was that all about? That was a train wreck of epic proportions. Oh, I really disagree with that. Oh, I really hated that podcast. Whatever the case, it may be a, it, it may be a sermon. It may be a sermon. It may be anything. But anything I find on the Theology Central or anything I find on the Edify Christian Podcast app will probably show up on the theologycentral.net pod page, right? So we're going to bring those two worlds together. And then and then I would, again, just if you know people who love Christian podcasts, tell them about the Edify Christian Podcast app. And when you do, tell them to subscribe to Theology Central, VBC, and the VBC Bible Institute. Now, I... I their, their dashboard where they give you statistics, they, they don't give you a lot of, they give you just like basic numbers. It's not broken down very well, which is really frustrating because I can't really tell where people are listening from. Like if I go to our Spreaker, our podcasting hosting site, I get all kinds of information. Like I know this morning, the number one uh, divide, the number one source for all of our streams in the last 24 hours probably 80% of them have come from Apple. Apple's number one on the chart today. Everyone's using the Apple podcast app today. So that's awesome. That's great. Everyone's using that. Yesterday, Spotify was number one. And the day before that, I think Pandora was number one. And let's see, let me just look here really quick. Since we're just talking about this kinds of stuff, let's look here. Let's do a refresh. Um, here we go. The, let's see, let's go to a geolocation, all right? The number one place people are listening to us from today. Now, this is interesting. The number one place people are listening to us from today is Westminster, Colorado. Westminster, Colorado. Westminster, Colorado. I'm not familiar with that location. I don't even know who, I, I didn't even know we had a listener in Westminster, Colorado. So whoever they are, Thank you. Uh, Number two is Washington, Virginia. Number three is Brunswick, uh, Maryland. Number four is Dallas, Texas. Number five is Columbus, Ohio. Number six is Pittsburgh, PA. Number seven is Hamilton, Bermuda. And then next is Seattle, Washington. Those are the major areas where people are listening to us from. I guess, again, Westminster, Colorado, Washington, Virginia, Brunswick, Maryland, Dallas, Texas, Columbus, Ohio, Pittsburgh, PA, Hamilton, Bermuda, Seattle, Washington, and the uh, the countries, uh, we, uh, India, or the United States is number one, India is number two, France is number three, the United Kingdom is number four, Germany is number five, Canada, Brazil, Australia, Japan, Mexico. And then we have a big one that just says other, which is about 14, 14.60, 14 14.14%. I'll just round it that way. 14% um, is other, but 
You know, that's the kind of information I get there. I don't get that information on the Edify app. I can log into the dashboard. It just says, this is how many people listen to you. And you're like, okay, well, that doesn't tell me a lot. But um, yeah, feel free to use the Edify Christian Podcast app. I know you probably have plenty of others. I know you want to have the Spreaker app because you want to listen to me live. Yeah, right. But uh, yeah, you can have have it. And now you can just see what I'm listening to by going to theologycentral.net, going to the blog section, and you will see, and I've already put a, a number of them, and I will put, uh, I'm going to put an interesting interesting one today, um, because today is May the 1st, sometimes known as May Day, and uh, it's interesting how that day plays out in church history. The Puritans hated it. The Puritans despised it. They did not like it. The Catholic Church said, well, let's just kind of offer, we'll offer an alternative here. We'll offer an alternative. So it's an interesting thing. It, it comes from a podcast called the Christian History Almanac, and I'll get that embedded there um, here in a little bit. But I just want, it's just something new that we're trying. I listen to a lot of podcasts, and they put the embed code. So that just makes it so simple because people can literally listen to it right there on the theologycentral.net pod page. And they give the embed code, so it's perfectly legal to embed it because it's still it's still coming from Edify. So it, the number is still going to Edify. I'm not stealing the audio. I'm just embedding it, and they're giving the embed code. And if you, um, I don't know if you have a blog or if you have anything, you can take the embed code from our podcast, and you can embed it wherever you want to embed it on whatever platform you may be using. If it allows for an embed code, feel free to do that. Uh, we, you know, take our stuff and use it wherever you want, however you want. If we if we're doing something that is beneficial, but I just wanted to tell you about that. Uh, because, you know, it took us forever to get onto the Edify Christian Podcast app. It took forever. It was very frustrating, very irritating. Um, but we finally made it there. And, you know, we want to just continue to try to, wherever we are, wherever we are, we want to, we want to utilize, you know, uh, put it this way. Not only do we want to utilize wherever we are to, to the best of our ability to hopefully bring our podcast up. Obviously, the different platforms were there. We also want people to use those platforms as well because those platforms allow us to be there. I mean, Apple doesn't have to let us be on their podcast app. Spotify doesn't let uh, Amazon Music, Audible, not all of those places don't have to let us be there. So I also like to drive people to those uh, sources as well. The Edify Christian Podcast app has not I don't think it's really caught on yet. It's kind of interesting. It's still floating way under the radar. Um, I thought, I thought it would generate more interest than it has, but I don't know why. I don't know why. I know Sermon Audio do, does really well. Well, why wouldn't a Christian podcast app do really well? So I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's, that's just an interesting thing. And, and I know there's a lot of Christian podcasts out there that are just, they're, they're apostate, they're train, train wrecks, but, um, it, you know, this is the way I look at it. Even if I'm listening to a bad Christian podcast, I'm getting an idea of what's going on in American Christianity. So I'm still benefiting from it because it's letting me know what's going on. But that's what I ask you to do. As always, support the Edify Christian Podcast app. Obviously, uh, support us by subscribing. Um, And then just go to theologycentral.net, theologycentral.net, and check the blog section every day. And especially if I'm not here live on the air, there's a very good chance. I'm going to try to post at least something once a day, once a day. I'm going to try to post some podcast that I heard on Edify or an episode. I mean, it's going to, I'm actually embedding an episode, not the podcast itself. You get the idea. And uh, hopefully you'll find that to be beneficial. So if you like the idea, if you think it's a great idea, let me know. Newsif at yahoo.com. Newsif at yahoo.com. If you don't think it's a good idea, you're never going to check. Just let me know that as well, because remember, I'm taking my time to post it there, not for my benefit, but for your benefit. Okay. So, uh, but I, and hopefully it sparks a, a conversation. You know, use the voice memo, use the voice memo um, feature on the theologycentral.net pod page. Use it. Like, I still want to know if it works. I, it's there. I, but I, I, I'm tempted to leave myself a voice memo. Hey, Trevor, this is Trevor. This Trevor thinks that you're really great. Well, thank you, Trevor. I think I'm pretty great too. Okay, so um, I, I, that would just sound kind of self-serving and weird and people would see it. And I, I don't even know if it shows up. I don't even know where it goes. So, but I didn't want it to be like somehow shows up on the, on the pod page and people like, he left a voice memo to himself telling how great the podcast is. That is narcissistic. 
That is self-serving. So that's why I'm afraid to do so. So I need you to help me out. Go to theologycentral.net and leave me a voicemail. All you, you, you say, hey, I'm listening to you from here. This is how I found you. And you don't even have to say you like it. Just tell me that. And then at least I'll know it will work. So do that. Check out the blog section. Just always trying to use, look, we have all of this tech technology available, I'm trying to find every way to utilize it for your benefit. And then, because I mean, we have all of this stuff available to us. Let's use it, right? And listen, if you use the Edify Christian Podcast app, let me know what you what podcast you subscribe to. Let me know because I can take your list. Like, just give me a list of like your top five. And if I don't know one of them, you know what I'm going to do? I'll take the one you listen to and I'll do a I'll do an episode saying, hey, here's a podcast that one of our listeners subscribed to. I've never heard it, heard it. Let's listen to it together. Now, when we're done, we may say, I don't know why that listener listens to that. That's the worst thing I've ever heard. Or we may go, wow, that was really awesome. In fact, look what we did today. We were still working through a podcast episode uh, that someone sent me. It started a whole thing. And oh, to we need to get to the person who sent me uh, Untangled. Uh, Untangled Faith and sent me, I think is what, Heaven Bent? I think it's called Heaven Bent. Neither one of those podcasts currently appear on the Edify podcast app. You may want to contact those individuals and say, hey, love your podcast. Get it on the Edify Christian podcast app because we want we want all the good Christian podcast app, a Christian podcast to be on the Edify Christian podcast app to make up for all the bad ones. Right. I mean, if you're if you're if you're like, man, the evangelical Christianity is a mess and you know, there's a good ministry out there. If you know, there's a good church out there, say, get your sermons on the Edify Christian podcast app. If you know, there's a good church out there, tell them to get their stuff out. The only way to combat the error is to get the truth, to get good preaching out there. Right. I don't want good preaching banned or censored. No, I want good preaching put right there next to the bad preaching so that people can hear both. Right? I, I don't like censorship or cancel. I just let's compete in the free market uh, of ideas. Let's just get right out there in the marketplace. And it's like, okay, you put your sermon out there. Here's our sermon. Here's your take. Here's your, my take. Here's your take of Christianity. And trust me, for most of the podcasts on, on the Edify Christian Podcast app, let me tell you, Theology Central stands out like a sore thumb, okay? People, people are like, what is that? Okay, what is, where did that come from? We sound like completely foreign to um, um, most of what's on there. But you know what? That's where we need to be, correct? So I, there's no way to, uh, like, they don't have a rating system so that your podcast can get noticed. The only way to, for us to grow, uh, the only way for us to get noticed on the Edify Christian Podcast app is we need about, I don't know, I'm not joking. We probably need about 20,000 downloads. We probably need about 20,000. I think if we got 20,000, then they, then they would be like, oh, maybe we need to put this in a position where more people can find it. We probably need 20,000. So if you want to do a lot of downloading, okay, like, well, we really need about 20,000 from a lot of different people. But there you have it. I just, just some, a feature that I, I'm like, oh, they got an embed code. What could I, and I said, what could I do with it? What could it, oh, let me go to the, our blog section. They make it easy for an embed code. There's like, just paste the source code, paste the source code. There it is. Voila. Takes literally like five seconds, maybe 10 seconds. I've got to, I got to find artwork. I got to give the top. Okay. Maybe about 30 seconds to, to complete. So if I can share stuff with you there, then then great. Let me know if you if you check it out, if you like it. Let me know, uh, newsif at yahoo.com. Or you know what I should stop doing? I should, should stop giving my email. I should say the only way you can communicate with me from now on is the voice memo via the theologycentral.net pod page. Maybe I should do that. Because a lot of you email me a lot, which I do appreciate. But uh, just please help me out. Leave us a voice memo because I don't know if it works. All right. Stop right there. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for listening. God bless.